East Coast always in me Commonwealth, Lil Jump Getting love from my city yeah. I roll call for the DMV In my own lane You could still ride with me yeah. No one knows I made mistakes You won't end but it's too late I don't need your support Just to know I'm important I won't ever sell myself short Cause I know you'll see me on the come up guys welcome to nana in canada now today we are actually diverting a little bit away from immigration but it's still things concerning uh canada when you're moving abroad there's one important thing that people fail to take uh consideration of which is food you guys i'm a foodie i don't know about you but even if you're not a foodie there's this type of food that you've been eating since you were born literally and your body is used to that and so when you change it you abruptly change it your body is gonna you know sort of ask for it like you're going to have some cravings of the things your body is used to that was a big challenge for me now you guys oh my gosh i was suffering i was suffering i just felt like my body needed something that i couldn't get like I knew exactly what my body wanted, but I couldn't find it, you know. So I was trying to use other things that would be similar, but my body just wanted what it wanted. Things like ugali, you can get flour, you can't survive. But there are things that you can't just get in this country, you know, or whatever abroad you're, you're, you're going to. So when I moved to Canada, the first uh, month was okay, you know, you're still happy, you're still, you know, trying new dishes and enjoying blah, blah, blah. And then your body realizes that there's something that it's used to, but it's no longer getting. It's just like getting addicted to sugar or getting addicted to something. Your body is used to that type of food that you used to uh, eat. Now, you guys, my guy, I had to import some food from my country and it's super expensive. It is very expensive importing using DHL. Oh my gosh, you pay. But at that point, I had to. I had to import because my body just wanted what it wanted and I couldn't. I couldn't help it, you know. So that's the reason for this video, just to educate you. If you can pack something, dry food or whatever, pack it in your suitcase. Oh, it's not easy. Pack it in your suitcase. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is uh, health and nutrition. Now, you guys, when I move to this country or when you're moving to any first world country, and I know even the so-called third world or, or second world countries, also they have fast food. And I will give an example of my country. There is a blooming fast food industry in Kenya, which is good. But it's majorly in these big cities like i i was living in nairobi and uh nairobi has got most fast food restaurants including subway there's a subway just right downtown just opposite hilton if i remember right there's a subway there's kfc um you know these fast food restaurants and that is good however me living in nairobi and for the longest time i was living in nairobi Fast food was like a luxury. It's something that I do once in a while. It's something that I do maybe on a Sunday or on a Saturday afternoon or maybe Kurudisha Mwili Asante at the end of the month. It's not something that my body relied on that I had to eat every day. I also know there's Uber Eats. I don't know if Uber Eats have arrived in Kenya. I know there's Uber, the transport uh, taxi bit of it but i don't know if kenya already has the the uber eats the the food delivery um you know guys when you move to first world country everything is fast maybe that's why it's called a first world country everything is fast a food delivery everything if you want anything just at the tips of your phone fast food restaurants are all over the place you guys they're competing each other subway mcdonald's and w um you know some that i don't even know papayas some that i don't even remember their names is a lot of fast food restaurants and number one they're cheap number two they're easily accessible and number three their food is fast you know very quick 
you know and it's easier for somebody moving here and you know you have school you have work you have other things that are making you busy cooking might be the last thing you want to think about i fell in the trap of just ordering food whenever like on my bed just order food it will come delivered at your doorstep eat you don't have to cook and with time i realized that i was gaining a lot of weight this is just my body type i feel like uh, the quantity that i eat plus the type of food that i eat makes me add weight a lot like a lot and losing it now that's where the trouble begins because losing it isn't easy it's not happening oh my gosh and I, I added a lot of weight without even knowing it because personally i thought i was eating healthy food but it's not healthy you know it's not healthy as long as there's vegetables there there's meat and there's like starch it doesn't have to be healthy right like burgers i thought burgers were the health the most healthy thing in the world because they had the bread um which is carbohydrate i think if not starch i'm not sure and they had meat the patties and then they had the vegetable on top of it and the sauces so i thought in my stupid head i thought i was eating healthy you guys i thought wrong i was so wrong and the only <laughs> i was so wrong so you guys um you know i was gaining i gained weight and i was just like oh my gosh what am i gonna do you know and that that's when i started realizing what i was doing and being aware of what i put in my body and i started uh you know juicing i bought the the juicer and you know what i just started like detoxing and so in this video i'm showing you what i eat to detox and when i've added weight i detox so that i just restart my body and like uh, and try to um you know adjust and you know be aware of what i'm eating and so i've reduced significantly the amount of fast food that i'm eating especially here in canada so then i just i stick to organic food and mostly vegetables and fruits let's not lie to each other you guys sometimes i overindulge and i overindulge in foods that i'm not supposed to but we are all humans like it's never that serious once in a while you can overindulge in something that you're not, not supposed to eat because you know what it's not gonna be the end of the day but as long as you are aware that you know what i'm doing this i shouldn't that's the best part because then after that you're gonna start the process of you know trying to detox and remove the toxins from your body and that's why personally i juice i juice a lot and i just wanted to share with you how i keep my body the way it is i've had so many people especially canadian boys asking me and questioning uh, me because they ask me uh, if i go to the gym i say no i don't go to the gym part of it it's good genes thanks mom and dad um, most of it is i watch what i eat and i periodically and most of the times i detox i could just take a month a whole month to detox um and i won't lie i would eat like solid food because my body will need solid food as well but i might eat them once in a while but mostly breakfast lunch dinner i would just be drinking my green juice or purple juice or orange juice or carrot juice or whatever you call it and that's why i decided to share with you my recipe here because i know a lot of immigrants are also struggling with the weight thing a lot of people come here and you know you just add this weight that you're just like wait this is not me what happened you know the other thing is also working out now this does not replace working out personally i do not work out why because i'm a lazy ass it's very hard for me to you know stick to a gym routine also the other thing is um i don't know how to use those equipment so when i go to the gym the last time being last year a year ago I just get bored because there are these equipment people are doing their thing and i don't know what to do you know at the end of the day i'm just like ah please get me out of here 
so um mostly i do not go to the gym i do not work out which is not good and i don't encourage but i realize that there are a lot of people who struggle with uh, uh working out and going to the gym you know what just try out uh juicing and detoxing uh yeah if it's a challenge for you and then slowly introduce some workout in your uh, daily uh living and maybe that can help so you guys uh, these are my juices and uh that's how i stay fit i stay healthy i stay with beautiful skin and body Talk is cheap, but please dare me to run up I keep myself like this and this is actually a purple juice let's do the the famous YouTube blocking <laughs> yeah this is purple cabbage predominantly and beetroot I added um, I added what did I add I added pineapple to make it sweet because you guys let's be honest if it's not tasty I wouldn't drink it if you are living abroad let me know in the comment section how you keep up uh, with not craving for your food your cultural food and uh, how you're dealing with um, you know the fast food problem I don't know if it's a problem because some most people like it or how you're dealing with the weight gain problem while you are abroad for people who are planning to move abroad again as i said try as much as possible to uh, carry the dry food that you can carry and also spices now if you're lucky enough and you're in a bigger city you might get an african store and probably you can get some of your cultural food but personally i live in a very small uh, town and so trust you me it's something that i'm learning to forget i'm forgetting my country's food but when i move to a bigger city trust you me i only go to african restaurant and that's not to say that uh, canadian food is bad it's just that my body i lived 29 years of my life eating a certain uh, type of food and my body is used to it my body craves it so yeah Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching Nana in Canada and I'll see you in my next video.